Hello everyone, this is Martin and today I'm going to talk about the derivation of e equals mc squared and please press the like button and or subscribe to my channel if you really like it, I'd appreciate it. This derivation is the simple view which addresses the meaning of the mathematics without going deep into their origins. This famous equation is a product of Einstein's theory of special relativity. Special relativity explains how space and time are linked for objects that are moving at a consistent speed in a straight line. The feature of special relativity used in this derivation is the interchangeability of mass and energy. Thought experiments are used by mathematicians and theoretical physicists to frame concepts and inspire analysis. Albert Einstein's most famous experiment was one in which he visualized a box in deep space. Therefore, it's surrounded by a vacuum. This box contains a photon on the left wall which will travel to the right wall. The box is of length L and the photon is situated on an imaginary x-axis at x equals zero. When the photon arrives at the other wall, it transfers all its momentum to the box and is at position x equals l. The box recoils. Now why does it do that? It does it because of this guy called Isaac Newton. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and as a result the box reacts by recoiling as the photon travels which is much like a gun's recoil when the bullet is fired. So what is the analysis here? Um, we have two objects moving in the same system. So we can look at the conservation of momentum and conservation of center of gravity. The conservation of momentum. Momentum equals a mass times velocity. And the momentum of the box due to the recoil will equal the momentum of the photon. The momentum of the box equals mass times velocity. In fact, momentum in general equals mass times velocity. And velocity is the rate of change of space with time. So we have delta x dx, which change in x, delta time, change in time. Well, now we've got to look at the photon, and uh, they don't have a mass. And as I said here, OMG, what are we going to do? But luckily for us... <laughs> James Clerk Maxwell came along, Fellow of the Royal Society and Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, a Scottish scientist in the field of mathematical physics. Maxwell found that momentum of a particle is equal to its energy divided by its velocity. The momentum of a photon equals E divided by C, where C is the speed of light. So therefore we can say that m dx by dt equals E divided by C, where dt equals L divided by C. And that's because dt is the time the photon takes to transverse the box. And so it is distance divided by velocity, L over C. So there we have our first equation. So for substituting for dt, put it L over C right here, you end up with mdx equals EL over C squared. Now let's look at the conservation of the center of gravity. And we're going to use this to find a value for dx. The center of gravity before the photon moves must be preserved after the photon has moved. The general equation for center of gravity is the mass times the position, or the value on the x-axis, of each component. So the box is uh, capital M, position x1, and the photon is small m, the position is x2, divided by the sum of all the masses. That's a generic equation. Uh, so we're going to look at it before and afterwards. And so looking at it before, m plus m will be on both sides of this equation, so I've already crossed it out. Therefore, mx1 plus mx2 equals mx1 minus dx, because there was a recoil, plus ML, because L is a new position of the photon. 
note that x2 equals 0 because it's at the, at the 0 point on the x-axis when it starts. And minus dx is the recoil. So now we can say mx1 equals mx1 minus mdx plus FL, ml. The two mx1s obviously cancel out and you end up with ml equals mdx. And then we can say that dx equals ml over m. Those are the two major concepts and now what we'll have to do is bring them together. So bringing it all together for conservation of momentum we got that mdx equals el over c squared. From conservation of center of gravity we got dx equals ml over m. Substituting for dx in here we get m dx ml over m equals el over c squared. And then from that, this M cancels out with this M, this L cancels out with that L, and you end up with M equals E over C squared. This is the original form of Einstein's equation, but nowadays it's known as E equals MC squared. Well, I hope you like that. That is the end of the show, and hope to see you next time.